Hello everyone and welcome to my view. My name is Aaron. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fish on the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV. So let's go ahead and get started here. You're going to need to download two different programs here. So WinSCP for Windows. Alright, and this will help us get the files over to the Wi-Fi Pineapple much easier. And then once you download it and install that, you'll also need Putty which is also very easy to use uh, for SSH that we'll be using in this video as well okay download that and, and run that okay so now uh, that you have those two files the first thing that I want to do so that we make this much easier and we don't have any issues and people don't have any types of questions is to just factory reset your Wi-Fi pineapple the reason why I say this is because I had experienced a lot of issues in uh, wrong file types, old files actually, that I've downloaded from uh, other people uh, that were trying to help me with this. And uh, I finally figured it out by just uh, doing a factor uh, reset much easier. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So click uh, log in and click the advanced tab, factory reset button. It says the pineapple is being res uh, reset. We will reboot when done. Okay. So this is going to wipe out pretty much all the settings that were ch made changes on there. Now also make sure you're updated. Your pineapple is updated to 2.8, which is the latest right now. Okay. And uh, I'll wait till this reboots because it does take a while to reboot. All right, it's went ahead and restarted that. Now, uh, make sure you have your SSH turned on. If you don't want to turn that on, go to SSH tab and uh, make sure this is uh, turned on here. So, um, I'm not sure why it's taking forever there. There we go. Uh, just make sure it's it's enabled here. I like to just enable all three of these actually, just so that we know everything is working. Okay and then uh, go back to your front page so it should say SSH is on uh, minimize this open putty connect to 172.116.42.1 and then you can go ahead and click open should give us our login prompt you'll get the security breach security warning just say yes login as root pineapples are yummy All right. Now, once we're in Open WRT with SSH, we need to CD to Etsy, etc. And then we'll need to. If you do not have it already, you're going to need to create this PHP.ini. But you should already have that, so you shouldn't have to create because I just did a factory reset, so everything should be in contact here. So uh, what you'll need to do is cat the PHP.ini. And then what you're looking for in here, uh, actually we'll probably need to grep this. So uh, use the grep command and then cgi.force underscore redirect. There we go, much, much better. Okay, so um, what you're going to need to do, is, since this is a 1 now, it used to be a 0, you're going to need to change that. And you're going to also need to add another line of this just to make sure both work. So to do that, to make a change, do nano or use your other uh, edit, uh, editors that you like to use like uh, Vim. So uh, nano or vi nano um, php ini. And then what you're going to need to do is scroll down here. You're going to need to find this, uh, this change where it's at. So once we find this here, I'll go ahead and pause so then I make it easier for me. All right, I found it here. So if you can find enabled underscore DL equals on, it's right below that. So go ahead and change this to zero. 
and then uh, the line below that you can just press enter and add the CGI dot force underscore sorry underscore red redirect then space zero okay make sure you just have both of those that way it'll just work uh, either way so um, and then do a control O to and it'll say are you sure you want to save that just press enter and then press uh, control X to exit out clear the screen because it's a mess and then uh, what you want to do now is close out of the pie and reboot the uh, the Wi-Fi pineapple now that has the change so to do that uh, log back into the web UI and go to advanced tab and just do reboot okay I'll let that reboot all right now that it's a uh, reboot here I went ahead and just logged into putty and made sure that the changes were made as you can see both of these are zero zero okay so now once you've done that now we're going to need to test the PHP to make sure it's working correctly to do that let me go ahead and minimize this so we're back in our putty here you're going to need to go back in putty and uh, navigate to CD forward slash WW triple WW okay and then uh, if not there should be a, yeah there is no file there so we're gonna need to create that touch test that PHP press enter echo quote and then uh, a greater a less than or greater than sign and then question mark PHP space PHP info uh, and then semicolon question mark ending and then uh, quote and then you're going to put that into a file test.php okay and then press enter cat test php and it should read like that perfect now once you've got that let's go ahead and minimize potty open our web browser navigate to example dot com and then uh, in there. maybe that'll work okay that works just put in the IP address I I'm used to um, using the uh, I guess the DNS spoof was internal and that's why alright anyways IP address okay and then uh, 172.16.42.1 forward slash test.php you should get a PHP version this is the version I have right now yours may be different I'm not sure so once you get this page you know your PHP is working excellent now we can move on so let's go ahead and uh, check our other files here so I'll close out of that go back to our putty and we're gonna need to look at the uh, our index so uh, let me connect back to this cat cat uh, redirect or index sorry okay this is what the index should look like okay if you did not make any changes so don't make any changes to it should stick like that it should be the same all right and then cat your uh, redirect and make sure it looks like this Okay, there's already an example in there, and we're going to be actually be using that just to test with. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and create that file real quick. So to do that, we'll just say uh, touch example dot html. I can spell html nano example dot html, and then we'll just type in hello world save that control O control X to exit out clear screen and then let's go ahead and try that out so to do that we'll open it up our uh, our web UI uh, you, and then you want to go to DNS spoof and make sure your configuration let's go back to configuration here real quick example.com okay make sure it's pointing to that it should be already there uh, because there's no changes that were made 
back to status page, enable DNS spoof, hit start, then navigate to example.com. There we go. Hello world. Excellent. So that we know that works. The redirect is working correctly. Uh, if it wasn't uh, working correctly, it would take it to a uh, it would it would take it to the other part of the uh, at the bottom of that redirect.php uh, code. So now what you want to do is you want to create your own modified website. Most likely, everyone wants to work with the Facebook page or something like that. So uh, to do that. Um, I'm going to actually be making another video uh, to, for modifying web pages for uh, the Wi-Fi Pinnacle because this video is already long, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so uh, this should give you a good idea on how to get ready for the uh, phishing on a Wi-Fi Pineapple. And pretty much all it is is just replacing those files. Okay, so uh, I'll get into that and you'll see more of that with the modifying the web pages. On, my, on the next video, okay? So uh, s stay tuned in and you'll see more Wi Fi Pineapple videos. And uh, I hope this you found this very informative and interesting, and I want to thank you for viewing.